on the 2K Sports Network. I'm Bob Cole, and with me, as always, is Harry Neal. The players are ready to kick off this match as they wait at center ice. Here we go off the faceoff. Ortmeier gets drilled at center ice. The puck to the left wing. And now into the zone. Jilson playing physical in the corner. The puck sent to the defenseman. Man, are we talking high impact hockey here. A super shoulder hit into the corner, Bob. And he shoots. Miller stops it. He got the blocker ready. Calder from Woolley to Brindamore from Calder. And the faceoffs coming up. And they win the faceoff. He controls the puck in the neutral zone. And they have it on D now. Calder holding the puck at center ice. He centers it. That shot was stopped by the pad. To the right. What a nice save. He made the save after it was tipped in front. From Morrison to Ortmeier. Past the blue line. Up the left side. Through the zone with the puck. Back to the point. Here they come. A chance here. Morrison holding the puck in the neutral zone. Bob, this shot was going low to the right-hand side, and he just got stoned. There was a lot of velocity on that puck. Knocks that shot away with a goal stick. He passes it up that right side. And with the puck at center ice. Hutchinson along the boards. It's shot. A point-blank shot. Maybe too close. Sometimes all you can see is the goalie. You can't see any of the net. A good pad save. He was the goalie's best friend on this play. He stopped the shot from even getting through. A good shot block. Ortmeier got punished in the corner by Hutchinson. Up the left side. And here they come into the zone. Controlling it around back of the net. What a good hit. He laid him flat down on the ice. And back into that zone. The visitors wanted to change up their offensive lines, and they get it. Over to Weaver from Calder. The shot. Bob, it looks like he got all of that slap shot. Still a right pad save. An underrated save by the goaltender. Bob, did he ever pile drive him? Good job with the shoulder. He controls the puck along the boards. Oh, and here they come. Turco with a pad save. Gilson gets a chance and clears the puck. The visitors are guilty of icing. Look at this check, Bob. It's a big time bang. Bang is right, Harry. That hit was a friendly reminder to watch your back out there. It's a good thing these guys expect that every once in a while. This face off is to the left of the goalie. He decides to center the puck. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. It's passed to the point. McCall behind the net with the puck. Miller makes the smart move and covers up the puck. Miller doesn't want to leave a hole near the post as he protects the left side of the net. He hits it off his own teammate. They get possession on offense. From Jilson over to Van Ryn. Hall clearing the neutral zone. Langfeld along the boards. He passes to the defenseman. And they're able to get it back. Woolley over to York. They bring it in. Van Ryn controls the puck on defense. They get it out of the zone, and it's cleared now. Puck over to the right wing. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. And he shoots. The puck is hit up the right side. Over the blue line. Murray has it in the corner. Murray hit hard in the corner. This is a pretty good collision. Remember, this guy is not known for his hitting ability. But he did a pretty good job here with that open ice body check. Over to the point. Sloan with the puck along the boards. Miller denies the slap shot with a blocker. He's going to have to watch that stick. 
Murray gets checked at center ice. Sloan playing physical in the neutral zone. The puck is hit up the right side. Shooting. Turco positioned himself great on the pad save. Crouching down and covering all in it. Puck over to the right wing. Langfeld brings the puck up through the zone. Around back. Puck back to the point. Poke checked. What a hit in open ice. I'm not sure even I expected this guy to hit like that. Hole from Murray along the corner boards. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. He passes it up the center. He has it along the boards. And a shot. Miller with that glove save. The home team clear it out of their zone. The home team changing shifts. Fresh skaters coming out now. And here they come into the zone. Using the lumber on this play, he got all of that slap shot. It was a good stick save by the goaltender. Shoots. Turco relays the puck back to the defenseman. There it is, on the rush. Sloan with the puck in the corner. To McKenzie from Tuzolino. Along the boards with the puck. McKenzie manages to get it out of there. The visitors get a chance to change the defensive units. McKenzie puts the puck out center. Across the blue line, Turco got this one with his goal stick. He was in the standing position and was able to make the save. And it's taken in the defending zone by Woolley. Coley, did this guy have a bullseye on his shirt? It looks like it. He was crushed. He centers the puck. Check this one out. A one-timer, and he got his left pad in front of it. This is an underrated save, to say the least. Smolensky getting hooked a bit. The officials are paying attention. Woolley holding the puck in the defensive zone. Smolensky is hit hard between the two blue lines. To Madden, from Madden to Hilbert. In the neutral zone. McCall carries the puck near the boards. A penalty coming up. McKenzie called on that spear. Penalty coming up for him. Folks, well, you're going to see in this replay what spearing is really all about. It is always an attempt to hurt the opponent. Harry, that's why players have no use for this kind of a call and why it's taken so seriously in the NHL. This is the kind of thing that will put guys out of play for a long time. Well, the refs had to call it, and Mr. Campbell, who's in charge of NHL discipline, will probably be talking to this guy. McKenzie is going to the sin bin for the first time tonight, ranked number three on his team in that department. He's very familiar with watching a game from that seat. And they win the draw. And they pick it up. Oh, and here they come. The visiting team get the loose puck. They're in the defensive zone. Ortmeier has the puck at center ice. Knubel in control behind the net. Over to Calder from Lyles. And now they're able to clear it out. Van Ryan picks up the loose puck in his own zone. He brings it up. Oh, and here's the odd man. Three on two. Miller sits on the puck. The skaters will face off left of the net. And they jump out on top here, one nothing in the first period. Knubel, assisted by number seven, Brendan Morrison. Right off the faceoff, he sticks it in the bottom part of the net. Giving up these goals is incredibly disheartening. Harry, games are won and lost in this kind of play all the time. Absolutely. If you want to avoid this kind of a thing, you've got to scramble the draws. Stay alert and stay focused. There are no do-overs in the NHL. The skater's ready now for the official to drop the puck. The visitors are excited about that one here in the first period. When you get the go-ahead goal up on the board, that's a real good feeling. What a nifty poke check, Bob. 
from Cummins over to White. He's with the puck at center ice. The puck is hit up the left side. Horkov dishes the puck center ice. Taken at the point by Watt. The net comes loose. The nets come off the post from time to time. The linesman will put it back in place and we'll have a face-off shortly. And now they get it in the attacking zone. Turco keeps that puck, taking no chances here. Turco in net, bracing himself for the faceoff. And now, in their own zone, Quint sends it up to the center. He's got it over the blue line. Miller disrupts the offense. Beautiful poke check. Hilbert gets body checked hard by Hutchinson. He decides to center the puck. Quint has the puck in the neutral zone. He passes it to the left wing. Hilbert over to McCall. And now it's center ice. And here they come again. And now in their own zone, Carter has it. Center ice. He feeds it up the right side. Hilbert through the zone with the puck. Carter passes it up the center to Calder from Weaver. And they have it at center ice. It goes to the point. In deep with the puck. To Calder. And here they come into the zone. The puck is centered. He's got it through the zone. There it is, on the rush. Fired. It goes over to the right side. Carter sends the puck up center ice. Over to the left wing. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. This is a bigger save than it really looks like because if he doesn't make it, his team's down by two, and we're still in the first period. Here's a whistle for the slashing penalty. That'll be a trip to the penalty box. Let's look at the replay and check that slashing call out. Oh, yeah, you can see he really got him good with the stick, no doubt about it. And off to the penalty box he goes for two minutes. Watt taking his first penalty box visit on the night. Miller races for the face-off near his goal. Home they team. grab it in the zone. Number 29, Mike Watt. Two Over to the right wing. Slash. He scores! That gives them the two-goal lead here in the first period. He got up real close and let a wicked backhander go for the goal. He really took advantage of his position and a well-aimed shot. All goalies will tell you, backhanders are hard to handle. They're ready in that big circle. Taken across the blue line. Murray checked between the two blue lines. Sent to the left wing. Assisted by Knubel controlling it at center ice. To the point. Number 26, Mike Van Ryan. Time of the goal, nine. And they pick it back up. Shot. A goalie saying, I want my body in front of this shot. And he got it right where he wanted it. In the body, off the wrister. They blow the whistle. The puck's frozen. They're getting ready for the face-off to the left side of the goalie. At the point, the puck controlled by Quint. The puck now to the right wing, past the blue line. And they have it on D now. Tamer passes the puck to the center. He shoots. The hard shot attempt is stopped from Miller to Watt. Over to Tuzolino from Watt. Over to Smolinski. The home team are called for offside. And we're going to start up action again. The home team win the faceoff, trailing here by two. 
The puck now goes center with the puck at center ice. Smolinski crosses the line and is called offside. Faceoff coming up, ready to get the action started. He got up real close and let a wicked backhander go for the goal. He really took advantage of his position and a well-aimed shot. All goalies will tell you, backhanders are hard to handle. He passes to the defenseman, Tomaserek. Over to her. The visitors have got the two-goal lead early here in the first period. They've really come out to play. What a way to start a game. What are they doing tonight that's getting it all done so well? They've had the perfect defensive mindset out there tonight, Bob. Whether it's been banging on defense with their big men, shutting down scoring opportunities, or fighting tooth and nail for every loose puck, they've earned that two-goal lead. Miller yeah, with the a stick save. Miller doesn't Miller want to risk giving up the puck. Miller protecting the left side of the net. Please find the nearest usher. Your lights are on. The visitors get possession of the puck, leading by two. Miller with a beautiful poke check. Ortmeier held along the wall. The corner to the left wing. Morrison, under pressure, sends the puck out, but no one can get to it. York in the neutral zone. One-on-one -on -one situation here. He got his left pad up there to knock that puck out. Good reflexes to make that stop. This is one of the hardest hits to line up in a hockey game. And from a guy that seldom hits, he's just steamrolling right there in open ice. A left pad saved from close range. Let's look at the replay, Bob. I think the big key here was his positioning. Positioning, Harry, and great agility. He flashed the pad, knocked the puck to the corner. No rebound chance. The linesman will drop the puck left of the net. And they win the draw in their zone. Langfeld brings it up through the zone. Langfeld got a bit of a slash there. Maybe enough for a call. Oh, and there they go on the attack. And they pick it up. He's got it in the neutral zone. And it's deflected off the right pad. Miller sends it back to the defenseman. And now in their own zone. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. And they're able to get it back. Langfeld has control. He's on the odd man. Three on two. To McKenzie from Tuzolino. And now into the zone to the middle. He gets caught offside. Here we go with another draw down there on the ice. Murray controlling the puck in the corner. Over to the point. He brings it up. The puck is hit up the right side. Camilleri got called for the penalty. Play will continue until the puck changes hands. Hooking is the call. Here's a hook here, and if you don't call it, you'll hear from the bench. Well, Harry, I think the player getting hooked will be upset too, don't you agree? I don't think there's any doubt about that. Here we go now with special teams. This penalty killing squad is great, and they have that two goal lead right now. So they should be feeling pretty good about going out on the ice right now and maintaining that defensive poise that has earned them a two goal lead. The visitors get the puck still in the penalty kill with a disadvantage. Has the puck at center ice. Turco, nice save. He's not letting them back in this one. They've got a two-goal lead. And now they're able to clear it out. The puck is hit up the right side. The visitors get it out of their zone. It's cleared. They've got the skating disadvantage, remember, until this penalty's over. On the power play. There it is, on the rush. In the corner. The puck sent to the defenseman. To Knubel, from Knubel to Jilson, and they get it out of their zone on the PK. Hutchinson skating with it at center. Puck back to the point. Hall fires it out under pressure, but no one's there to get it. 
Fires! What a pad save. It was one on one. The guy was coming right down on him. He waited and waited and finally got it with his right pad. Coley, he had this one labeled. It looked to me like it was on the left post down low. He just got robbed on that shot. Along the boards with that puck. Knocks that shot away with a goal stick. The pass is missed from Ortmeier. Oh, what a save. He was able to stop. This save, Coley, is a great example of how aware the goalie is of his pads and body. Yeah, Harry, he just watches it all the way in and kicks it away with the left pad. The thing that gets me is that it was such a spot-on shot, but the goalie treats it like it was nothing at all. That's how it's done. Shot. Great speed deflecting the shot with the arm pad, Bob. That was a tough shot to handle. Take it across the blue line. The goalie was in good position, and he made nice use of that blocker on that breakaway shot. They get the puck back. It goes to the point. Good block there. Horkov is in the corner. Over to Watt from Cummins. He brings the puck past the blue line. He's in the corner. McCault deals that puck on the centering pass. He feeds it up the left side. Hilbert gets that puck out, but not a good pass. Horkov getting it out there, and here's the two-on-two -two rush. Down low. Tamer with the pass up the center. He shoots. It is blocked. He had to get down on his knees to stop that shot. Oh, and there they go on the attack. Over to Woolley. The home team are going to get some fresh skaters out there, changing out their forwards. Has it at center ice. Madden makes the pass to the defenseman. Puck over to the right wing. From Lyles, over to Tuzolino. McKenzie from Tuzolino. McKenzie poke checks. Oh, he grazed him with a stick, and they don't want a penalty called. Woolley over to Tuzolino. Passes over to the left wing. And it was stopped off that left pad. Tuzolino has it at center ice. Smolinski got a bit of a spear there. Tuzolino down low. He centers it. Turco makes a nice pad save. Taken across the blue line. Back to the point. The puck goes into the corner, and the delayed penalty Elliot, will be called. McKenzie gets the hooking call. Right by the elevator. Enter to win a free copy of NHL 2K6. And here's a close-in oh, shot, Bob, but it's denied by the goaltender. Yes, a tight shot like this keeps everybody on their toes. The goalie, most of all. Right, Coley, but the goalie had this one the whole time, getting a lot of wood on that shot for the stop. McKenzie will be returning to the sin bin once again. He's got penalty number two, and we'll be spending a little more time in the box. This face-off is to the right of the goalkeeper. On the attack now. He passes to the defenseman. Two shots on goal on that last offensive possession. Not a bad outing at all down the ice. Ortmeier takes the puck through the zone. Over to the point. To Weaver from Miller. They get the puck back. He's controlling the puck at center ice. And they regain possession. And now they clear it out, trying to kill the penalty. The puck is hit up the left side. Through the zone with the puck. The visitors have the advantage, and they've got their power play unit ready to go. Murray has it at center. The home team make the line change for the penalty kill to the point. Here they come, a chance here. Taken across the blue line, rip, and he scores! And that brings his team only one back from getting this game tied up again. Still lots of hockey to play, though. We're still in the first period. He got real close to the net, made the decision to shoot, and that's the end of that story. He was so close to the goaltender that there's not much he could do unless his positioning cuts off all the angles. And that's the advantage of moving out a ways from the goal, to cut down the angle. And we are just about ready to resume play here. Home 
He passes it to the right wing over the blue line. Sloan with the puck along the boards. Kyle Calder. In deep. Cowery took a stick to the midsection. Oh, I don't know if the ref saw that one. Controls it in deep. Comrie, body checks him hard on that one. He's going to get an interference penalty. Let's check the replay and see if he was called for interference. Oh, yeah, you can see that he was trying to get away with something there. Well, he's away, all right. He's away across the rink in the penalty box. Calder picks up penalty number one, and we'll have to see if that's the last time he catches the referee's attention. Miller ready for the face-off to his right. They have it on offense. Hilbert in the corner. It's passed to the point, and they have the puck. Defensive zone. Oh, here's a breakaway. Over to the right wing. Murray behind the goalie. It's set up the left side. They pick it up. There it is, on the rush. And now in their own zone. And here they come into the zone. And Turco holds on for the save and keeps the one goal lead. He passes it up the right side. McCault controls the puck in the neutral zone. Puck back to the point. He has it along the boards. Over to the left wing. And now they clear it out, trying to kill the penalty. Turco sends it to his defenseman. Now at center ice to Morrison. From Morrison to Knubel. Out of the corner. Carter brings the puck up. He centers the puck. Turco stops it. He was ready with a stick. They have it at center ice. One on one now. The puck is in the corner. Morrison delivers the body check to the ice. A minute 58 on the game clock. Cummins hits him in the corner. Calder brings the puck up through the zone. Under two minutes now in the period. The corner. It goes to the defenseman. And he brings it up. Carter checked at center ice. He brings the puck past the blue line. What a nice save. He made the save after it was tipped in front. From Miller over to Cummins. He passes it up the center. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. Calder holds him along the glass. Passes it to the right wing. Morrison getting that whistle. I think it's going to be interference. Let's check the replay and see if he was called for interference. Oh, yeah, you can see that he was trying to get away with something there. Well, he's away, all right. He's away across the rink in the penalty box. You do not want to take a penalty at this time in the game. But the only saving grace is, when you look at the numbers of this team's penalty-killing unit, some of the best in the NHL, we'll see how they do. If they cannot get it done, this game's going to be tied up. A minute 21 on the clock. Nice save, Bob. This guy has been coming up with some huge saves tonight. They're down by a man. They're leading by a goal. That was a timely stop. He was getting shell-shocked out there, shot after shot. And he was able to maintain his composure and keep the puck out of the net. Being a goaltender is definitely not an easy job. Here is Exhibit A. He was as tough as nails on that scramble. And they'll face off on the right side of the goalkeeper. A minute and a quarter to go. And he was able to get on top of that puck. Turco, smart play to just hold on. Turco in net, ready for the face off to his left. Hull carries the puck along the boards. And now it's center ice. Hull from Weaver. The puck gets set up the right side. Bob, I love this hit. Love the open ice hits. You hardly see enough of them anymore. And that's one reason why I like them. And now they're able to clear it out. And they get it back in their own zone. Hutchinson brings it up through the zone. We're down under a minute left. His own teammate deflected a golden opportunity. Hilbert clears it out of a zone on the penalty kill. Weaver puts the puck out center. Tipped away by Hilbert. 
McCault roughing it up at center ice. It's cleared out of there. Penalty still in effect. Miller passes back to the defenseman. And the penalty is over. Five skaters aside. Oh, baby, here's a breakaway. Murray holding the puck in the corner. There are 13 seconds left. To the right wing. Langfeld with the puck held at center. Shot! You talk about rising to the occasion. If he doesn't make this stop, they're down by two goals in the first period. You might not be able to win games in the first, but you sure can lose them. He might have stopped his team from losing with that save. Miller covers up after the shot. Miller will brace himself for the puck drop, which is to his right side. The home team, trailing by a goal, win the faceoff. He passes it to the left wing. The first period is over, and the score Your is 2-1. Two, two and we've got a chance to take a quick look at some great action from the first period on your screen now. The home team continue to trail in this game here, Harry, and they're behind a goal to start the second period. What's been the difference tonight, do you think? Looking at the stats, you can see they're down one, and that they've also been outplayed when skating a man down. If I were them, I'd really focus on the penalty kill if it comes up again. Maybe it'll help give them the energy they need to tie this game up. The visitors are happy with the one-goal lead. I know, Harry, it's the second period getting started. And with the way these guys have approached this game, I think we're going to see more of the same. Sends it to the defenseman. Morrison gets hit at center ice. It goes over to the right wing, and they get it back in their own zone. Ortmeier fires out a pass, but nobody there. Van Ryan over to Jilson. They bring it in to the point. He's got it in the corner. To Jilson from Van Ryan. You gotta like this save. If he doesn't make it, his team is down by two. And you know what? We're in the second period, and this is a crucial period in this hockey game. Knubel holds the puck at center ice. Woolley had to kneel down to the ice to stop that shot. Huge block to Calder. And he has it at center ice. One-on-one -on -one opportunity. Calder can't get the shot on goal. The neutral zone. Brenda Moore in the neutral zone. And Turco makes that beautiful save to preserve this one-goal lead. Brenda Moore will be the recipient of the delayed penalty. Knubel with the puck. He centers it. At the point, fans, a we're going to see a hooking penalty call. Been found on the promenade. Would Tim and Sarah Taylor please go to Rosman Foul of the lower There's lower a lower hook lower here, lower and if you don't you. call it, you'll hear from the bench. Well, Harry, I think the player getting hooked will be upset too, don't you agree? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Brindamore gets his Ron first free Lee pass Lee. to the best seat in the house tonight. This is his Time first the penalty, penalty of the evening. Of the second period. And it looks like they're ready down there to get things going again. They gain possession in their own zone, and they get to it and clear it out of the zone. He feeds it up the right side. McCault takes it up through the zone. Down in the corner, it goes to the point. Hilbert able to send the puck out. Miller stops the shot, keeping the deficit at one. And they have it on D now. He brings the puck up. Now they get it back. Turco passes to the defenseman. He plays it up to the center. They bring it in. Oh, and there they go on the attack. The puck goes to the defenseman. Don't forget to Miller the safely covers up. Doesn't want to let his team get behind any further. The face-off will be left of the net. On the offensive here. Ortmeier is in the corner. It's fed back. He scores. That's his second one on the night. What a great effort we've seen from him so far. It looked like it deflected in off the right pad there. Let's take another look at this goal, Bob. Yeah, Harry, it sure did. He couldn't get enough out there to stop it. You've got to feel bad for the goalie, but it's part of the game, they'll tell you.
It's time to get this game going again. Here's the drop of the puck. The visiting team are now up by visiting two goals. Team. While it's not an insurmountable Number cushion, 20. it sure is one cushion they'd like to take to the third period. The home team with the puck in the attacking zone. Lyles has the puck. The stick going inside there. There's a whistle. The puck is frozen. Turco digs in at the left side, waiting for the puck drop. The visitors pick up the loose puck in the defensive zone. He feeds the puck to the left wing. Hall collects the puck in the neutral zone. He brings it past the blue line, sent back to the point. York getting roughed up in the corner by Tamer. They're able to get it back and carried in the middle. And they get it back in their own zone. Looks like we're going to have a delayed penalty. Quint clears it out. The puck is hit up the right side. Over in the corner, Murray passes out of the corner. Interference will be the penalty. Here's a good time to check out the interference call, Bob. Harry, he was clearly trying to get away with some extracurricular activity there. <laughs> no doubt about that, and he's going to serve some time in the box to think about it. Tamer gets his first penalty of the game, and he's currently number four in that department on his team. The goalie will be preparing the left side of the net here for this faceoff. Jelson pokes it away nicely, and now they clear it out trying to kill the penalty. The puck to the left wing. Calder sends the puck, but there's no one there. Over to Carter. From Calder. He's got it down low. He's covered. Feeds it out of the corner. Fortmeyer carries the puck into the corner. Lyles has it at center ice. Here they come. A chance here. Turco sends it to his defenseman. The visitors will bring in another penalty killing line. Up the left side. He is holding it in the defensive zone. The puck now to the right wing. The pass into open ice. Calder leading the odd man rush three on two. to McCulk from McKenzie over to Tuzolino McCulk got a bit of a slash there maybe enough for a call the corner Smolinski sends it into the corner here they come a chance here taken across the blue line that shot off the left pad oh and the puck hits a post puck over to the right wing Smolinski center ice Van Ryan hits the puck up to center. Here's an opportunity. Past the blue line. And they're getting away. It's two on two. Bob, great poke check there to break up that play. Back to the point. Pokes it away. Tuzolino from Smolinski. It goes to the defenseman. The home team changing shifts with their forwards. He passes it up the center. There it is on the rush. He passes it up the right side. In the neutral zone. Odd man rush, three on two now. He feeds it up the left side. Ortmeier skating with the puck in the neutral zone. Knubel holds the puck in the corner. Bottom right, you know he was going there. He loves to shoot to the low parts of the net. And he got robbed with that low shot to the right. Fed out from the corner. Turco stops that shot. The two-goal advantage here still alive. Morrison knocks him off balance with the body check. Through the zone with that puck. To York. 
And he stops it with the right pad. Carried it into the corner. From Commissarek to Ward. It goes over to the right side. The visitors wanted to make a line change with their forwards. They get a chance to do it now. Over to Hall. From Watt. York in deep with the puck. York getting held up along the boards. Hall holding the puck in the corner. They clear the puck. Murray through the zone with the puck. It goes to the point. Hall delivers the puck back to his defenseman. Komisarek with the pass up the center. Gets it over to the left wing. It's sent up the left side. Turco makes a nice pad save. The defense blocks the one-timer. Shot is blocked. I love this guy, and I love the way he blocked shots. Up by two goals, and he got it done very efficiently. Shoots it. Bob, look at the location of the right pad. It was right there to stop this wrist shot. The visitors changing shifts for their forwards. The home team get nailed for offside. Another face-off about to commence here shortly. The home team get the face-off down two. And it's a two-on-two. Two. And now into the zone. It's shot. Comrie delivers the nice body check. He passes to the right side. Passes over to the left wing. Bob, this team knows what they're doing. They're trying to slow down the star player on the other side. Just keep banging him and make the night miserable for him. That was an awesome play to poke the puck away, especially during a good scoring opportunity on that shot. He passes to the defenseman. He's got it over the blue line. Carter sends it up to the center. Here they come, a chance here. A breakaway save, a thing of beauty. Nice use of the blocker. He's got it along the boards. He feeds it up center. In the defensive zone, it's controlled by Woolley. Over to the right wing. Sloan looks like he's going to get the interference call here. Here's a good time to check out the interference call, Bob. Harry, he was clearly trying to get away with some extracurricular activity there. <laughs> no doubt about that, and he's going to serve some time in the box to think about it. Here we go now with special teams. This penalty killing squad is great, and they have that two-goal lead right now. So they should be feeling pretty good about going out on the ice right now and maintaining that defensive poise that has earned them a two-goal lead. The linesman will drop the puck to the goalie's right. On the attack now. Managed to get Visiting in front of the shot. Number 16, Blair and they're able to get it back. The puck gets sent up the right side. Time of the penalty. And on the power play, they bring it in. From Carter, over to Lyles. Calder is against the boards. Along the boards with the puck. Save is made. He was able to stop it after a very tough shot there. Tipped off the player in front. They blow the whistle as he covers the puck. Turco protecting the left side of the net. Hilbert with the puck at center ice. Center ice. There it is on the rush. It's fed back to the point. Turco makes the pass to the defenseman. And they get it out of their zone on the PK. He feeds it up the right side. No luck with the pass from Hall. Hutchinson gets contact in the neutral zone. Murray checks him in the neutral zone. It's shot. Turco poke checks the puck away. The penalty is over and both teams are at even strength. Back behind that net. You gotta love this save. I thought the red light was coming on. And I'll bet the shooter did too. And now into the zone. What a stick save. And it was something to behold off the one-timer. Hardly any time to react on that shot. Hall from Hutchinson. It's passed to the point. Oh, what a poke check to break up that play. Morrison over to Tamer. They have it at center ice. 
Knubel takes it behind the net. Down in the corner. The home team are having some difficulties out on the ice tonight, Harry. We're well into the second period now. They're trailing as they have been since period one. They need to turn it around somehow. What sticks out on their end of the ice in your mind? Down by two, I see something glaring out at me from the stat sheet, Bob. They are just being outclassed tonight when skating a man down, and I think that's affected their demeanor out there a little bit. He carries it over the blue line. The puck goes to the defenseman. Oh, and there they go on the attack. It sent back to the point. Camilleri with the puck. And now in their own zone, the home team get it out of their own zone. The puck is sent of ice. Quint gains possession in the defensive zone. To Tamer. From her, Tuzzolino gets checked in the corner. Butterill pushing it up, and here's a three-on-two rush. And he shoots. Butterill can't get the shot up through the zone. Turco makes the save. If he lets that one go by, this game is a one-goal game. He does not want that to happen. The linesman will drop the puck left of the net. They'll try to get a chance here. Woolley hits the puck out center, and the puck is controlled by Horkov. The visitors have possession of the puck. And now into the zone. It goes over to the right side. The puck is in the far corner. He makes a centering pass. The goal stick to the rescue knocks that away. Sometimes you get a chance to get your stick on the puck right before someone shoots. And you don't quite get there. He and he scores! Now they are within one goal. Second period hockey. They want to get this one tied. Beautiful puck movement, climaxed by a tremendous fake shot that set that goal up. The defense committed to the shot, and that left the opening to get a better one. And that shows don't always take the first shot available. See what happens. And something certainly did there. We'll get back to the action now as the official gets set to drop the puck. The home team have really accomplished a big goal with that last goal. They're now within one of tying this game in the second period. Let's see if they can take advantage of the momentum now. These plays just kill you when you're on offense. Such a great shot opportunity, Bob, but they couldn't capitalize on it. No, Harry, the goalie got the right pad out there for a great pressure save. Definitely, he got the solid save there. A great job by the goalie denying the goal. And they pick it up. They get it on offense. White center ice. And they regain possession. They bring it in. Gowala controlling the puck in the corner. Over to McCault. Madden with the puck in the neutral zone. McCault will be offside stopping the play. The official's going to get the action started again. Here's the faceoff. Now, off the faceoff, over the blue line, fires. Bob, we've seen this guy do it before, flashing the left pad. You launch a slap shot like that, and you think, I got to get something. All he got was the left pad. Puck back to the point. Ward sends it back to the defenseman, and it's in the middle. He centers the puck. He passes it to the left wing. In the corner, it's broken up by a poke check. Commissarek holds him along the boards. The puck sent to the defenseman. Ward able to send the puck out. From Morrison over to Knubel. Ortmeier from Knubel. Ortmeier, he scores! And they now have the two-goal lead with that goal here in the second period. And it goes off the goaltender and ends up in the net for a goal. I know this happens from time to time, Harry, but that fact certainly can't help the goalie now. Definitely not. 
Bob, in fact, looking at this replay, you can actually see the look of horror when he realizes that the puck hit him and still went in. There's a little period of time between that little tap of the puck and the signal for a goal. And that period of time feels like forever to the goalie. And I'm sure it's accompanied by a sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach as well. The skaters look ready in that big circle. The visiting team are showing they are still in control here tonight. Scoring here in the second period to give themselves a two-goal lead. You never get enough, but you sure do like having that lead when you get midway through the game. And right now, that's where they're sitting. Calder brings it up through the zone. Back to the point. Carter skating along the boards. And they have the puck. Defensive zone. And a save by Turco. Van Ryan controlling the puck at center ice. It's deflected. Sloan with the puck in the corner. Comrie hits the puck out. Nobody on the other end. Fired! Bob, he did a nice job of deflecting that shot using his right pad. It was a great save. And it's controlled at center. Sloan hit with a stick there. Cummins over to Brindamore. They were looking to get off a shot, but a well-timed and a well-placed poke check broke it up. The home team bring out the scoring line. Sent to the left wing. And they have it at center ice. Oh, and here they come. That shot off the left pad. To Cummins from York. To Murray. Taken across the blue line. The puck. Turco with a stick save. That was a great stop. Comrie fires out the pass, but that's up for grabs. Now they go right back in. In deep. Murray gets it out of the corner. And he's got it through the zone. York skating with the puck in the neutral zone. York playing physical in the neutral zone. It's passed to the point, and they go offside. The best time to get him is before they get started, and that is what he did in the center zone with that good hit. We have designated smoking areas at the north and south end of the arena. Thank you for your cooperation. The visitors with possession of the puck up by two. And now in their own zone, Weaver now clears the puck, and there it goes. And they're able to get it back. Hilbert passes it. Up the center, Madden getting hung up on a stick. Stops it. He committed on the shooter, but made the great blocker save. Hilbert hit in front of the bench by Hutchinson. Horkov leading the attack here. It's two on two. The shot. He's got it in the corner. Another shot. On this point-blank shot, the goalie made a terrific stop with the stick. And they're getting away. It's two on two. Miller with that pad save. The defense blocks the shot. This was a must block here, and he did it so efficiently with his guys down by two goals. We've got a penalty. Looks like Spearing is the call. That was a great sequence there, Bob. Let's have another look at it. Yeah, he made an excellent stick save off the rebound. Great reflexes to keep track of the puck there, Harry. Rebounds are always a little scary, but he made short work of that one. Walla is on the way to the penalty box to serve his first penalty of the evening. They're ready for the faceoff. And now in their own zone. Home team penalty, number 13, Stephen Walla. Two minutes for Spirit. Jelson through the zone. 15, 15, and here they come, seconds. trying to get something going. Oh, the puck hits the post. Miller covers up the puck, playing it safe. A lucky bounce here, literally, for the goaltender. It hit the post down low. I'm not so sure why the shooter went low when he saw the goalie was in that butterfly stance and covering the area pretty well. It's not every day you hear that post ring. Like me at a baseball game when I catch a foul ball with one hand and don't spill a drop of beer with my other. Aha, uh -huh. wrong sport, but we get the picture. Lyles delivers the puck back to his defenseman. And they get to it and clear it out of the zone. Gets it over to the left wing. Taken across the blue line. Manuble has it in the corner. Miller stops the shot. The power play continues. 
And they get it back in their own zone. Ripped. Miller with a shorthanded save. Any more stick there, and he's likely going to be called for hooking. The defense doing its job on that last ship, keeping out three shots on goal. He brings it past the blue line in the corner. To the point. Commissaric at the... Miller makes the big save for this penalty kill. From Miller to Carter. He controls the puck in the neutral zone. He's got it along the boards. Ward roughing it up in the corner. Carter has it down low. He passes to the defenseman. That's the way to line him up. You could tell he had him cornered, and then he just nailed him. Cummins has a penalty coming up for him. That looks like a cross-checking penalty. Let's watch the replay on that cross-check. It was quite a hit. Ouch. Good thing for padding, Harry. He really got nailed there. Sometimes you have to come out and play a physical brand of hockey, but you can't do that and get away with it. Cummins is leading his team in penalty minutes, and that is his first penalty tonight. Miller in net, ready to protect that right side of the net on the faceoff. And they win the draw in the defensive zone. It's controlled by Morrison. And they get it back in their own zone. The puck gets set up the right side. And they get it out of their zone on the PK. Van Ryan skating with it at center. They've got a three-on-two chance here. The defense blocks it. Morrison getting hooked a little bit here, and the refs are watching. Miller holds on to it. We'll have a face-off. Miller in net, ready for the face-off to his left. The home team are shorthanded and are in the penalty kill. The home team hit it out of their zone to clear it, trying to kill off this penalty. The pass is not good, and they get the puck back. And they're able to get it back. Over to McCall from Commissaric. He plays it up to the center. Oh, and there they go on the attack. Over to Commissaric. The pass missed from Commissaric. Hutchinson gets control of the puck in his own zone. And now into the zone. Hilbert gives a shove on the play, and the penalty has expired. We've got five on five again. Weaver relays the puck back to the defenseman. Turco, great save. If he lets that one go by, this game is a one-goal game. He doesn't want that to happen. A minute 58 on the game clock. Weaver sends it up to the center. Hull takes it past the blue line for depth. It's a goal. They have now brought themselves to within one goal of tying this game up with that goal coming late in this second period. The puck is knocked off the goalie stick and winds up in the net for a goal. Oh, you've got to feel for the goalkeeper when this happens, Harry. The puck going off him into the net for the score. One thing we know for sure, he does not want to get an assist on the goal. And we've got the face-off coming up. Home the home team, team have done what they wanted to, convert on scoring chances, get back to within one goal and gain some momentum to pull back and tie this one up before going down the stretch. Let's see what they do with this bit of tie turning their way. Nice save to shut down the breakaway attempt with that pad save, Bob. Yeah, he really bailed out his defense after some missed assignments. Left all alone to guard the net, he really showed his mettle with that stop. The shooter went to his right side, and he was able to get his pad in the way enough to throw off the shot. The home team with possession after that faceoff. They're down one goal. Only a minute 28 to go. They bring it in, and he's jammed the shooting lane by diving to the ice. Brindamore holding the puck at center ice to the left wing, and they get the puck back. Here they come, a chance here. Knubel is in the corner, and they have it on D now. 
from Morrison over to Canoodle in the slot. Miller makes the stop, keeping the deficit at just one. Miller freezes the puck. He wants to play it safe, being down by only one. The skaters will face off left of the net. A minute and two seconds to go. One minute remaining. They'll in the freeze period. the puck. Miller in net, bracing himself for the faceoff. On the offensive here, over to the right wing. Murray knocks the puck to the center, and here's a big chance. Turco will hold on for the faceoff. Smart play there. And now we're going to have a faceoff to the left side of the net. Nice save to shut down the breakaway attempt with that pad save, Bob. Yeah, he really bailed out his defense after some missed assignments. Left all alone to guard the net. He stops him, shuts him down on that breakaway. He covers the puck. Only a superb stick save made on this play, shutting down the breakaway attempt. He makes it look easy, Harry. He followed the shooter, capped himself lined up, cut down the angle, and then stopped the shot with his stick. That's a tough save to make. Miller prepares to protect the left side of the goal. The home team own the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come, a chance here. Gets it over to the left wing. Murray with the puck along the boards. And they have the puck, defensive zone. They get the puck back. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. And he brings it past the blue line. Ripped. You know the shooter wanted this one. Imagine if he could get a two-goal lead for his team late in the second period. That was a big stop. The Nets come off its posts. The players get set to face off. The visitors win the draw, still leading by one. Period two is now over, and we've got a score of four to three. The home team continue to trail in this game here, Harry, and they're behind a goal to start the third period. Harry, why do you think they're playing catch-up right now? It's tough to build up momentum when you're being noticeably outplayed on special teams. Their penalty-killing unit in particular has had a rough go of it tonight, and I think it's helped bring their whole team down to the tune of a one-goal deficit. The visitors have to stay focused here as we get period three rolling. They can't let that one-goal lead slip away. Lots of teams have watched their third-period lead evaporate, and those third-period goals are hard to come by. Komisarek passes the puck to the center. What a big save. We are down to crunch time in the third period, and that big save keeps them alive in this game. And now into the zone. He scores! And they have tied the game early here in the third period. Great job to come out of the intermission and take care of business. We talk about assists, but with this one, it's on another level. You have to bow to this guy's passing ability. I hear you, Harry. Not just a beautiful pass, but a flip pass. And it does the trick. We're well, beautifully. We're running out of adjectives, aren't we? We've got a tie game, third period hockey. Here comes the faceoff. The home team are showing they will not go away. This is an enormous goal that ties it up here in the third period. Now we'll see if they can carry that forward to a lead. He passes to the defenseman. Ortmeier with a great defensive play to poke the puck away. And they have the puck, defensive zone. Ortmeier controls the puck in the neutral zone. It gets passed up center. Knubel gets a free pass to his own bench as he gets body checked into his own bench. Calder over to Carter. The neutral zone. Here they come. A chance here. Van Ryan brings the puck up. To Calder from Carter. He's got it over the blue line. 
This is a great example of full extension with the left pad on that breakaway save. This is a terrific save with the left pad. Check it out on the breakaway. It looked like the goalie figured it out all the way. And that's where all those exercises you see the goaltenders going through, where they flip those pads right and left, that's where they come in handy. Puck back to the point. Turco with a pad save. Komisarek passes back to the defenseman. McCault, center ice. DeMadden over to the left wing. And they regain possession. The puck is hit up the right side. And now into the zone from Hall to Hutchinson. From Hutchinson, the one-timer hits a defender. Saves it with a stick. York has it. He's got that puck at the point. To the right wing. Over in the corner. McCult manages to get it out. Madden with the puck. Over to Hutchinson. From Hutchinson. Over to Murray. Hull checks him in the neutral zone. And along the boards with the puck. It's fed back to the point. Carried into the corner. Madden, behind the goal, gets hit by Weaver at center. Here they come. A chance here. Get a shot. Looking for the go-ahead goal, and he got rocked. He scores early here in the third period. That puts them up by one. You talk about big goals. That was one. Forget the goal. How about this pass? Well, he flipped it over to his man on target, and the shooter did the rest. I'll tell you, Bob, he could not have flipped it any better if he was making those hot pancakes. Illuminating as always, my friend. Another face-off about to commence here shortly. He feeds it up the right side. Visiting team goal. It's shot. Number 18, Andy the puck Wilson. to the left wing. The visitors Number now lead the game. And what a time to be ahead. We're in the third Bill period, McCall. and it's a one. He scores! That goal puts him up two here early in the third. goes off the goaltender and ends up in the net for a goal. I know this happens from time to time, Harry, but that fact certainly can't help the goalie now. Definitely not. Bob, in fact, looking at this replay, you can actually see the look of horror when he realizes that the puck hit him and still went in. There's a little period of time between that little tap of the puck and the signal for a goal, and that period of time feels like forever to the goalie. And I'm sure it's accompanied by a sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach as well. The skaters look ready in that big circle. The visitors with possession of the puck up by two. Morrison gets drilled at center ice. The home team pick up the loose puck at center ice. The puck dinged off a post and they pick it back up. Knubel, center ice. Oh, and here they come. Beautiful defense. He blocked the shot, going down to his knees. Lyles sends the puck up center ice. To Brindamore, from Woolley, to Calder. Carried it into the corner. Sends it to the defenseman. Through the zone with that puck. Carter fires it out under pressure, but no one's going to get there. From Cummins to Watt, taken across the blue line. Oh, and Turco stops the shot, maintaining that two-goal advantage. Turco covers up. Face-off will be at the left of the net as the players get ready. And they win the draw in the defensive zone. 
Comrie has it at center ice. Miller makes the save, going left side, nothing doing that time. Now the puck up center ice, past the blue line. McKenzie in the corner, and they have the puck, defensive zone. Puck back to the point, and they get it back in their own zone. Langfeld fires it out under pressure, but no one's going to get there. Cummins gets called for throwing that elbow. He really got hit with an elbow on that play. You can't do that and not get a penalty. You might be able to get away with a little bit of an elbow, but not right in the kisser like that one. Cummins will be in the box for the second time tonight. Bob, as you know, he's ranked number one on his team for penalty minutes. And here's one reason why. And it's time to get the action started up again. The home team get the shorthanded faceoff, looking now to kill off this penalty. And he's skating with the puck in the neutral zone. Miller makes the save, helping his team here while they're shorthanded. Murray cleaning up in the corner. Hutchinson gets the whistle. Looks like a slashing penalty coming up. He got him for slashing, Bob. Let's take another look at that play. No question about it, Harry. He whacked him with a stick. That's sure to leave a mark. A play like that can often fire up the opposition. No one wants to see their teammate take a slash like that. It could be a sign of things to come. If the intensity stays at this level, things may just be getting started. Hutchinson, with his first penalty on the night, will now have a chance to watch his penalty killers in action. Miller doesn't want to leave a hole near the post as he protects the left side of the net. And they win the draw in their zone. And now they're able to clear it out. And now in their own zone, over to Ortmeier with the puck at center ice. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. Miller stops the play with a poke check in net from Ortmeier. He passes to the defenseman. They clear it out. Time winding down on the penalty. Under a minute now. Up the left side. Morrison takes that puck through the zone. Puck over to the right wing. Miller makes a huge penalty killing save. Miller covers it up. He just doesn't want to take any chances. It's all about positioning, Coley, on this one. Let's take a look at it. Positioning, great anticipation. He didn't budge. Focus and proper use of the blocker was the reason the puck stayed out of the net. Nice save. And this face-off will be to the goalie's left. That's the way to be aggressive and stop the big scoring opportunity. This guy is playing some aggressive goal tonight in a tough situation where you're down by two goals and you're two men short. Miller positions himself at the left side of the net, waiting for the faceoff. And they have it on D now. It's five on four as one penalty times out. The home team are at the disadvantage as they go with the penalty kill through the zone. Hilbert from Madden. Hilbert over to McCault. From McCault, McCault sends him to the ice with that body check. Hall holding the puck in the neutral zone to Brindamore. Murray checked between the two blue lines. And it's deflected off the right pad. Turco manages to get it out of there. From Hilbert to McCault. He feeds it up the left side. Calder has it. Center ice, ripped. Turco with a stick save. Quint sends the pass, but no one can get to it. Over to Comrie from Quint. And now into the zone. Back to the point. Cummins had to get down on his knees to stop that shot. It was a huge block. Brindamore holds the puck at center ice. Passes over to the left wing. The goal stick to the rescue, knocks that away. He's controlling the puck at center ice. The centering pass is made. It hits off a post. Miller makes the pass to the defenseman. Ladies and icing is called as they get to the puck. Boy, Bob, we have to take a look at this one. The puck hit the goal post down low with the goalie in the crowd's position. 
And if the puck had been just a little more inside, it would be a goal. No doubt about that one, Harry. Here, you just count your blessings as you pat the frame of the goal. A job well done by the netminder's best friend. You know the goalie's best defense pair, the right and left post. The face-off taken in the defensive zone. They grab it in the zone. Miller with a pad save. He shoots. Hutchinson breaks it up with the poke check. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. It's shot. He gets body check good on that one. And they move it up ice, and here we go. He centers it. Camilleri gets drilled behind the net. The puck goes to the defenseman. Carter brings it up through the zone. Behind the goal, it's hit out. Shot, he scores! And they now trail by just one goal. They really needed that goal, and they need some momentum to get another. Third period hockey, this one's getting exciting. He banged in the shot off the crossbar by the goaltender. That sound is a scary sound when you're a goaltender. No doubt about that, Bob. And rightfully so, he went top shelf and hit the cookie bin on that one. Face-off coming up, ready to get the action started. The home team have reduced that two-goal deficit down to one, and that is not an easy task in the third. When you've got a two-goal differential in the third period, the other team has been playing pretty good defense. Now, a chance to get this thing tied up if they can do it one more time. Over to Kamasarek. From Kamasarek over to McCall. Time of the goal, 7 07 of the third. And now period. in their own zone. He's with the puck at center ice. Over to the point in the corner. We're going to have a penalty. And he broke up the play, getting his body down on the ice. He got called for interference. Let's check the replay and see if he was called for interference. Oh, yeah, you can see that he was trying to get away with something there. Well, he's away, all right. He's away across the rink in the penalty box. You do not want to take a penalty at this time in the game. But the only saving grace is, when you look at the numbers of this team's penalty killing unit, some of the best in the NHL, we'll see how they do. If they cannot get it done, this game's going to be tied up. And they win the draw in their zone. And it's cleared out, trying to kill this off. And they have it on D now. He takes it through the zone. The puck is directed out center. The home team offside on that play. They're ready now for the puck drop. Van Ryan with a puck in the defensive zone. The home team pick up the loose puck in the defensive zone. York has the puck in the neutral zone. York from Murray has it behind the net. Murray taking some punishment behind the goal by Chilson. And he's able to get on top of it. Ladies and gentlemen, Turco covers it up. Smart play with a one-goal lead here in the third. This face-off is to the left of the goalie. Call the arena box office for details. And they win the draw in the defensive zone. Ortmeier gets the chance to hit it out of there, and it's cleared. They're still shorthanded. Murray plays it up to the center. York is offside on the play. They're ready in that big circle. The visiting team win the shorthanded faceoff, looking to kill the penalty. Offside is called. And they're ready now for the face-off. Now off the face-off. And they regain possession. Hilbert at center. Penalty over. Five men on the ice for both teams. To the right wing. He's got the puck in the neutral zone. And they pick it back up. It's passed into the corner. And they pick it up. Comrie over to Langfeld. He carries it over the blue line. 
Comrie fires wide on that one. From Miller to Watt, gets it over to the left wing. The home team are going to get some fresh skaters out there, changing out their forwards. Sloan, under pressure, sends it out, but no one can get to it. Big hitting. He's a bruiser, and you don't want to meet up with him in the open ice. Cummins with this opportunity. Turco makes the gorgeous poke check in net. Sloan brings the puck up through the zone. From Sloan, Miller makes the save. His team a down a goal right now, doesn't tonight. want to give up another. Scott Miller Prater. camps out on the left person. side of the goal. Birthday, Scott. McKenzie gets control of the puck in his own zone. And crossing the blue line, he takes that big shoulder hit. Commissarek getting some light abuse close to a slash. And here's a big chance. McCall has the puck in the corner. Oh, what a poke check. Good use of the stick. Here they come, a chance here. The home team are whistled for offside. Here comes the face-off to start the action again. He sends it up the center. Nice defense at center, tipping the puck away. Up through the zone. Porkov clearing the neutral zone. From Goala over to White, he decided to get his body on the ice, and he defended the play. Hilbert is nailed for making that cross-check. Let's take a look at that cross-check, Bob. That's a mean check. Not a lot of gray area for the refs in that one. <laughs> no gray area on that one. It was an easy call. You do not want to take a penalty at this time in the game. But the only saving grace is, when you look at the numbers of this team's penalty-killing unit, some of the best in the NHL, We'll see how they do. If they cannot get it done, this game's going to be tied up. They'll try to get a chance here. Deflected off the defense. It's passed to the point. They shoot again. Turco makes that save and keeps that one goal lead intact. Across the blue line, Miller makes the save as they bid for a shorthanded goal. Hall with it at center. Here they come, a chance here. Hall gets drilled in the corner. To Knubel from Ortmeier, and at center. And they have it on D now. Murray is out at center ice. He passes it to the left wing. Tipped and a save. York takes the big body check by Van Ryan. Shot once again. The body check knocks him down. It's fed back to the point. Hutchinson. Turco makes the pass to the defenseman. He's holding the puck in the neutral zone. The visitors are able to switch up their penalty killing line. The puck is hit up the boards on the left side. He passes it to the left wing. Comrie through the zone with the puck. He's blocked up the passing lanes, the shooting lanes. He's in the corner. Sends it to the defenseman. Oh, and a chance now. Here they come. Langfeld holds the puck in the corner. And they clear it out of there. Here they come. A chance here. Goala gets the puck out. That's not a good pass. Over to Quint. From Comrie. Over to Quint. Horkov snags that pass on the left wing. When are reflexes quicker than rubber on a play like this? That shot was labeled bottom left, and somehow the goalie robbed him on it. Oh, what a poke check. Good use of the stick from Horkov over to White. And here they come into the zone, and he stops it with the right pad. Back to the point. Cummins has it on the boards, and Turco makes a nice pad save. And Turco stops it. He was ready with a stick. Turco hangs on to that. Here's a save where you can tell the shooter wants to do it all over again. He thinks he could have put it in a better spot. Well, Harry, hindsight is 20-20. But in this case, it looked like the goalie owned him the entire time. I agree. This was one of those times when the goalie seemed to occupy every square inch of the net. This save was made by the left pad. But any other shot could have been easily covered by this guy. 
Turco in goal, ready on the right side for the faceoff. The home team win the faceoff down by one. Madden from Ward. He feeds it up center. He brings the puck past the Bula. It's deflected off the goalie skate. A little rough yeah, action the with the stick. With the on, Miller, his team down by SMB one, makes the smart call and, and covers the puck. And now the faceoff. Ready to drop under. the puck. On the offensive here. Over to the point. The officials caught a slash going on and they're not going to let those squeak by. You can really get cut with a slash. Let's take a look at the replay and we'll see this penalty in slow motion. Bob, it was a slashing call. You can't use your stick like that and get away with it. And keep in mind, even if you don't hit him, if you've got that stick up and you've got it waving around out there with the potential to make contact, you're going to get the slashing call. Bob, that's a real good point. You can swing and miss and still get a slashing penalty. And it looks like they're ready down there to get things going again. And they win the draw in Old their zone. And they get to it and clear it out of the zone. Jim it's sent up the left side. Two minutes for slashing. Time McCault for sends the puck up center ice. McCault checked in front of the bench. The penalty killing unit clears it out. They've still got quite a bit of time to kill here, though. Komisarek has it at center ice. The puck doesn't get to the intended receiver. Miller makes the save. His team down a goal right now. Doesn't want to give up another. And now they get it back to Hilbert from Ward. No one picks up that pass from Hilbert. He passes it up the right side. He brings it up to Hilbert. Miller makes the save. They're still shorthanded. McCault gets checked along the side by Carter. The home team are bringing out their penalty unit right now. Turco sends it to his defenseman. Ward over to McCulk. Saved with the glove. Miller with the pass up the center. Ortmeyer clearing the neutral zone. Tuzzolino called for offside and the play is stopped. This is terrific goaltending. He didn't get his mitt all around the puck this time, but just as effective, he knocked the puck down with his glove. Super job in net. You can't always react in time to catch the puck. This time it worked just as well, though. Yeah, and Coley, the trend has been for larger, more flexible gloves. That gives you better control over the entire catching surface. The officials got the puck in hand, and he's ready to start things up again. The faceoff taken now, and here they come into the zone. Shoots. The visitors grab the loose puck in the defensive zone. It's a goal! Oh, baby! The hat trick in enemy territory. Don't see that too many times. And the hat trick will not yield any free headwear for the local sports stores tonight. No, but a lot of fans watching the game back at home just threw their hats on the floors of the living room. Skaters ready now for the official to drop the puck. The visitors were able to succeed in getting a two-goal lead here in the third. Now, let's see if they sit back and play a little defensive hockey. Controlled at center ice. From Tamer to Morrison. Quint now controlling the puck. He makes a centering pass. Over to Tuzzolino from McKenzie. He brings the puck past the blue line. Quint knocks the puck to the center. He's in the corner. The visitors make the D-line change. It goes to the defenseman. A little deep there, and he's got it in the neutral zone. Tuzzolino fires out a pass, but nobody there. Close call using the stick too much, and the net becomes dislodged. Turco in net, the face-off to his right.
sent to the left wing. Van Ryan sends the puck out. Langfeld playing physical in the neutral zone. Over to Sloan, through the zone with the puck. The play broken up by Weaver. Miller passes to the defenseman. York has the puck through the zone. From York, over to Murray. And now into the zone. Turco, great save. If he lets that one go by, this game is a one-goal game. He doesn't want that to happen. The visitors clear that puck out. Weaver gets a chance and clears the puck. Murray carries the puck into the corner. Sloan from Jilson. Sloan at center ice. To Hutchinson from Hall. To Weaver. He feeds the puck to the left wing. The home team chain shifts. Fresh skaters coming out there to the right wing. Miller with that pad save. Oh, and here they come. Oh, and Turco shuts down that play with a poke check. Sloan has control, and it's going to be two on two. Sloan is off target. From Sloan to Tamer. And it was stopped by that right pad. Cummins, Calder, center ice. Calder has it down low. Man, this is the ideal situation. The goalie is in the groove, it's late in the third period, and he has a two-goal lead. And it doesn't look like anything's going to upset him tonight. Harry, it's time for your favorite part of the game, the penalty shot. You did say you enjoy these, didn't you? I know if you're on the side of the goaltending team, these are silent moments. And he shoots. Langfeld doesn't get his shot on goal. The linesman will start the action to the goalie's left. The visitors control the faceoff. They lead by two. That shot was stopped by the pad. He brings the puck past the blue line. It's fed back to the point. Along the corner boards. McCault skating with it now in his own. Here they come. A chance. It is in the net. And that goal should close the book on this hockey game. Up three here in the closing minutes of the game. It looks like they're just about finished. And we're going to start up action again. Take it across the blue line. Over to Lyles. From Murray. Over to McCall. And in the neutral zone. From McCall. Over to Madden. Shot. You have to have quick pads to play in the National Hockey League. And off that wrist shot, it was a pretty good left pad save. Behind the net with the puck. Hull fires it out under pressure, but no one's there to get it. Just a minute 57 now. Lyles takes it up through the zone. Less than two minutes left in the period. To the middle, and he shoots. York with the body check. York from Murray, controlling it in the corner. Komisarek roughing it up in the corner. Skating in the defensive zone, the puck handled by Woolley. He passes it to the right wing. Along the boards with the puck. It's ripped. Turco stops that shot headed bottom right. McCault was interfering on the play, and he'll get the penalty. Here's a good time to check out the interference call, Bob. Harry, he was clearly trying to get away with some extracurricular activity there. <laughs> no doubt about that, and he's going to serve some time in the box to think about it. Okay, Bob, they are trying to protect the lead. They're up by three goals. Now they have to put their PK unit on the ice. But they should not be worrying, folks. This team really knows how to kill penalties. Turco doesn't want to leave a hole near the post as he protects the left side of the net. We are Visiting left with a minute 23. Number 17, Bill Calder Hall. picks up the Two puck in the attacking zone. Time of the penalty, 
And now they're able to clear it out. He passes it up the right side. Puck over to the right wing. Turco makes the save, helping his team here while they're shorthanded. The puck sent to the defenseman. They clear the puck, killing this penalty. In the and they get it back in their own zone. Up the left side. Calder manages to get it out of there. The home team have possession of the loose puck in the defensive zone. Just 44 seconds left to Woolley from Calder. Alone on the breakaway. And here they come in. He scores. Oh, high scoring game we have tonight. At least for this guy, he's got four goals now in the evening. Check the goalie out on this rush, Bob. It looks like he's in a crouch and was just overwhelmed by the attackers. And he just can't get to the puck in time. That's a tough break for the goalie. And the puck is just about to drop. Thirty-six seconds left. The visitors have really gone to town here tonight. This rest of this game is just playing to protect the net. They've now got a four-goal lead and will probably be giving their second and third lines some extra ice time. He fires it hard around the boards. York hit hard in the corner and with the puck at center ice. He passes it up that right side. Botterill carries the puck into the corner. Miller sends it back to the defenseman. To York. Time runs out here tonight. This game's over and the score, 9 to 5. And now it's time for the highlight reel. You'll remember some of these plays from tonight's game, and now we have a moment to look at them again. The visitors carried out tonight's game plan with ease, toppling their opponents to a tune of a four-goal lead to the finish. Wow, Harry, this was some kind of one-two punch they came out with here tonight. Keys to the game? Well, Bob, the opposition couldn't have known before the game